size wise, you know, pretty matched up again. I think it's all the way across the board. That's why I expected a, this kind of a fight to be happening tonight. And uh, it's going to be an exciting game. The way the stands look right now, it's going to be a good old fashioned dog game tonight. These words from Coach Frank Police set the stage for the performance to propel the Sun Devils into the win column in the 40th annual Battle for the Bell. The night began with a preview of what would become the Darien Mosley first half show. The 5'11", 180-pound junior ran the opening kickoff back 90 yards for a touchdown, only to see it called back. In fact, in the first quarter, Victor Valley didn't always need to stop the Devils. They stopped themselves with costly penalties. But Mosley provided the spark that spearheaded the Sun Devils' success from every direction, special teams and defense included. This pass interception enabled the Sun Devils to regain momentum after a second quarter Jackrabbits touchdown, setting up the Apple Valley touchdown, but put the home team in front by one at the half. Against Burroughs in game two of the season, Mosley rushed for 154 yards from his running back position. Lee's strength and power enables him to break one Jackrabbit tackle and carry another tackler with him into the end zone on a seven-yard touchdown run that put Apple Valley ahead 14-13 at the intermission. In a play practically mirroring his earlier interception, this second second quarter pick halted the Rabbit's final ride of the half and appeared to place Mosley in the end zone again, but it was ruled he stepped out of bounds at the 30. Second half, Heroics would be led by the 5'6", 140-pound senior speedster Abdullah Abram, who would score on runs of 50 yards and 9 yards on the night and add the all-important two-point conversion that enabled the Sun Devils to emerge with the 29-28 triumph. The Sun Devils' offensive attack provided just enough balance and variation, with junior quarterback Arthur Nunez also coming up with big plays. The first Apple Valley touchdown came on a 12-yard pass from Nunez to 6'5 senior receiver Anthony Alexander. On the defensive side of the ledger, the Sun Devils held their opponent to the lowest point total in their first three games and came up big when it counted. Apple Valley's victory marked the first time in the four full decades of the Bell Game rivalry that either team won five consecutive Bell Games.